In this video, we're going to look at how we can take simplistic acrylic pouring fluid art techniques, a little bit of pre-planning and ingenuity, a slight bit of embellishment with a brush, and turn it into a creation that you're seeing like this. That's what we're going to be looking at how to create in this video. This video is also part of a fantabulous collaboration where we're going to be getting our groovy on in this 60s theme inspired grand extravaganza. We're about to get our inner flower child groovy on so thanks for being here and we are going to have some groovy fun together. <laughs> friends thanks for being here at my channel and thank you for joining us for this most fantabulous collaboration fluid stock where a bunch of us artists have come together to let our inner artistic flower children flourish completely and come out and create and present these beautiful epic paintings for your artistic viewing pleasure and perhaps a little educational purposes too. So first I'm sketching on my beautiful groovy flower child woman because I want to know where her place on this beautiful canvas is going to be. My plan after that is to pour the background around her hair and then to go from there on this most epic groovy adventure. I also will be creating her hair with fluid art techniques and I will be sticking mainly to my brushwork embellishments on her face itself. So we will see how I'm going to be doing that as we get a little further ahead. I'm pretty sure you're going to find this epically groovy, baby. If that sounds good to you, baby, consider subscribing and clicking the bell. I'd like to thank Nathan of the channel The Fine Art of Distraction. Nathan created this fantastic theme. What a brainchild storm he had in the creation of this. What a fantastic idea. We've all had so much fun, and thank you, Nathan. So in my color palette, I not only picked the six colors, but when I took a closer look at the graphic that we were to basically work within the colors off of as an example, I noticed on the inner ring that there were variations of those shades as well. And so I went ahead and I added a few extra variations of the same shades. What I am doing here for the background is I am creating different ring pores, but I'm keeping my colors separate as you can see in the cups. I'm keeping my warm tones separate and my cool tones, with the exception I've added a little bit of yellow into my blues and my greens. But this is because I want to section off where I have certain colors within my background. And you'll see what I'm going to do here. I'm basically doing a wandering ring pour to put this on, and then I'm going to tilt this out. So you're going to see up ahead how I'm going to be doing this. It's pretty interesting. Brian of Brian's Upper Valley Artistry was before me and up later after my video are going to be the fantabulous Kristen and Kayla of K and K Create. So be sure to follow us to them next as well as all of the other artists because everyone has created something completely unique and different for your viewing pleasure and I promise you you are not going to want to miss even one of them.
Thank you for letting your inner child come out by being here and enjoying our presentations here today. And so for her hair, I'm just putting on each color a little bit at a time. I'm drizzling each color on in kind of like big strands, kind of like hair in a way. And, and then I will be taking a spoon and I will be kind of smearing through it and I will be creating her hair. And here I'm actually just taking this automatic pencil that I happen to have. I don't have the lead sticking out of it. I didn't know where any of my bamboo I did not know where any of my bamboo skewers happened to go. I would have used one of those instead if I did. So I just grabbed something that was there and available. It was this automatic pencil and I just started doing embellishing in through her hair to give some added little swirls. I thought that that would be a little bit fun. I like to build my paintings in thin layers. Other artists build their paintings differently. Some artists really go in more thick with their paint and, well, consequently they probably get them done a little bit quicker, but it is just a different technique. I prefer to layer my colors in very thinly. This way I can build the translucency and you can see colors within colors and I I personally love that look. It's just a way that I personally like to paint and I love the outcome when I do it that way. But of course, you know what? We all have our own unique ways and whatever your way is, if you tend to take on brushwork, whether you have already or whether you want to hang out and maybe learn a thing or two as we continue the adventure on this channel, then um, you know you can, you can try it different ways as well and you can see what works the best for you.
I do not use black in this painting. All of the dark colors that you see are created with this purple color. It's called Violet. It's by the brand Master's Touch, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. And the only place that I used white within this painting is primarily to lighten some of my shades. And I also used it in the whites of her eyes and just a touch on the front of her headband. Aside from that though, there's no solid white in this painting really. And it's blended down within the painting to where it doesn't actually read as solid white. I did this on purpose because I really did not want that starkness and I also did not want to come outside of the parameter of what we were instructed to do within this collaboration. I really wanted to stick to it. At one point in my artistic journey, we actually had an assignment where we were not able to use black. In place of where we would want to use black, we were advised to use very dark versions of other colors to expand our creativity. And so I took what I learned in that particular art exercise from all those years ago and I applied it here. And I really love the results. Let me know what you think of it. Oh, so groovy. Thanks for being here and getting your groove on here with us. And so I wanted to add a little something on here and I decided to go for some skins, some acrylic skins in the shapes of little circles, different size little circles. I just kind of thought that that'd be totally awesome and groovy within the whole fluid stock flower child 60s theme. And so what I did was I started just taking skins off of the plastic that I had underneath where I did the painting and I started putting them on and when I ran out I made a few more and when they dried I added them on as well. So that's what you're seeing here and I feel that that just gave it such added oomph and interest and a whole lot of texture and dimension. I really like how this turned out. Let me know what you think of it. I'd love to know your groovy opinion. Again, I want to thank Nathan from the channel, The Fine Art of Distraction, for putting this amazing collaboration together and all the artists for joining in. It's been a lot of fun and uh, it's been a lot of groovy fun hanging out with each other and sharing in the chat, showing each other our outfits and all of that and just getting ready to present this beautiful magnificence to all of you. And I want to thank you for being here too. It's been awesome. And definitely remember my friends, especially if you are here at the time of premiere, let's go in just a moment ahead to visit Kristen and Kayla at KNK Create because they're up next. And even if you are here on the replay, well then check them out anyway, because it's going to be totally groovy, my peaceful flower child, artistic loving friend.